Actually, this this observation that uh, Miles Davis has punted around for the past year and a half, I would say, and done repeated observations of this sort of thing, always punting it around. And Globe Earth is in the distance calculating uh, something in the foreground or something in the background. And they're always calculating this and saying, well, if this was a, a flat Earth, you know, then uh, these mountains should be up here, let's say. These mountains should be way up here. That's what they say. That's what they claim, right? They claim this. And I've been able to demonstrate categorically that that doesn't always have to be the case. That's all I'm going to say. It doesn't always have to be the case. I can prove on a flat plane now. Not just talk about it, I can prove it. I've got demonstrable proofing of it that this image here can quite possibly, if not most definitely, be uh, only on a flat plane. We'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Tank has settled down with the additional um, sugar solution. So this would be the two extra bags of sugar that I put in. So we shall compare the two and see what has happened. These two images were taken in different density gradients. The first image on the left was taken after adding 1450 mils of sugar and 1.5 litres of water to the water already in the fish tank. The second image on the right was taken after an additional 2000 mils of sugar and 1.5 litres of water were added to the fish tank. You can see that the pot I placed in the tank lines up pretty well in both images, and the cumulative effects of the density gradients have not had enough length to make the object move its visual position. However, when you look at the tin of paint in the right hand image in the background, you can see that it is sunk in relative position to the pot. This proves that on a flat plane with a density gradient, distant objects will fall out of their expected positions and appear lower in the image. This very simple demonstration has proved Miles Davis and Cole wrong, and proven that sinking is indeed a very real reason as to why we see things the way we do, over our wonderfully flat plane. I've been Ranty Flat Earth, and I'll see you all in the next now for uh, everyone to see. So here we've got the, the start of the day where you can read all the words primer, yeah? And at the end of the day, primer, wow, well, that's way, way, way low down. Let me uh, crop this out again, even some even more so that you guys can see all of this. Uh, now then, this is exactly what uh, hey, Miles Davis, this is what Miles Davis's uh, whole uh, channel is about, basically, showing the parallax between uh, an observer height that he's at and a distant bridge and saying that the mountains in the distance cannot be um you know where they are in 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 your vision because it wouldn't work on a flat plane and i'm demonstrating here that <laughs> this is absolutely possible here whether or not you believe in photons or what have you i'm not really bothered i, I tend to subscribe to the idea that we just see something and we don't have something beaming into our eyes i don't believe that but whatever the effect is it absolutely lowers it in the background the density lowers that object in the background. And Miles Davis, who's put all those videos out of Trepain Law, saying that there's a mountain in the distance and it's lower in perspective than it should be. And I've, you know, and I've, I've lined myself up at 210 meters and 210 meters to this um, tower in the in the foreground. And then in the background, we have this mountain that's lower than it should be. Well, here's your answer on a flat plane, Miles Davis. Here's your answer. Here's every Glober's answer when they turn around and say that this you can use these type of observations. Let me bring up his observation. Um, this will be on here. So let's go back to the beginning of this video. So this is Miles Davis's video, the one that he's uh, harked about for for year, a year at least now. And basically, he's lined himself up at 210 meters or so, which is about the height of this central uh, stanchion here on this bridge. And in the background, we have these mountains and the mountains are not in the same position that they should be if you believe you live on a flat plane, right? Okay, well, what's the answer to that? Well, the answer to that is this, the density gradient, and this, nothing's changed apart from the tin has dropped in its position. Game over, Globies. Waiting to, to do this, as well as other things. So I've had this uh, you know experiment in mind for probably the last week and a half it's just finding time and having the motivation to actually do it and I got around to doing it today and yeah it was 
it was just everything that I expected it to be. And it absolutely blows their idea of you can measure distant mountains in the background with something in the foreground. It blows it completely out of the water. It's, it's game over for that. They can't argue that anymore. Beautiful. I can't wait.